6 p.m. on a Friday and we are heading out to Coffee Bay. Chicken, carrot warm, thick butter, thick syrup. Cover up. Welcome to another weekend vlog. It is Friday evening at 6 o'clock and it is currently raining in Port Elizabeth. But it's going to be quite an exciting vlog because we have a last minute change of plans of this weekend completely. Um, Bronson needs to go and help a client out in Coffee Bay. His drone, he just purchased a new drone and there's something wrong with it. So basically, we've jumped into um, Shelby's car, which she kindly lent us. Thank you so much, Shelby, because my car just obviously would not, little Fiat would not make it all the way to Coffee Bay. So Shelby has borrowed her Jimny to us, um, which we are very grateful for. And we are about to fill in petrol now, and then we are on our way to Coffee Bay for the weekend. So yeah, we're going to spend, we're just making a mini trip out of it because it is a seven hour drive there, minimum and back. So we decided that we're not going to drive there Saturday morning and come back Saturday evening. That would just be terrible and driving all day. So we're actually leaving now, Friday evening at 6 uh, p.m. We might stop over and sleep somewhere and then we are going to come back on Sunday. I decided it would be cool to vlog our spur of the moment mini trip. We packed everything in less than half an hour. We've got our bags, Bronson's got some of his fishing stuff, I've got my laptop. Like It was literally the client phone and within an hour we are leaving. So yeah, it's 6 p.m. on a Friday and we are heading out to Coffee Bay. Stay tuned for a really exciting vlog. Alright, so we just got to Blue Water Bay. We're going to get some food because obviously... We rushed without eating anything or without packing any snacks or food and we're going to get some energy drink drinks for the road and fill up on a fuel and then we're going to hit the road. so thick or well, the mist is so thick that we can't see like 10 meters in, not even like five meters in front of the car so although the roads are really really quiet it's quite scary because it's like dark and dingy and you can't see anything in front of you we're running nice and slow Where are we now? We are now, I think we're going to the Great, great Car Bridge. We are about... Halfway. We passed, we are, we've just gone past halfway. Four hours in, we have three hours left. And it is now... Oh, let's just focus. It's now 20 past 10. And we're just going to have a pit stop. We're going to use the bathroom and have some more energy drinks and refuel so that we get there in one piece but so far so good how are you feeling getting tired feeling good need some red bull but i need to pee yeah i need to pee so bad so so bad We're almost there. 
Yeah, bye. Yeah, it's the best place to Yay! We are in sight. That you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. Yeah. I'm excited. You excited. Okay. okay, so it's half past either way on the terrible. It's half past one in the morning. It's almost two o'clock. We made it. We are safe. And we are gonna head to bed now. And we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, look at the view, so it's now half past six in the morning and Bronson is currently fixing the drone, but y'all can you see what's happening to my forehead though, ever since I stopped Jeanette my skin is doing and going through the most and it looks like, oh, look at the dog, hello, hello, Hello! Hello! Oh, you want to scratch? Oh, you're nice. That's the spot, gal. Yes, get in there. Hey! Hey! I'll keep you guys updated and I will let you know on the plans. It obviously depends how long it takes to fix the drone. But we are definitely spending the day in Coffee Bay and we will be traveling back tomorrow. But we arrived here safely, slept very, very well. The accommodation is absolutely beautiful. It's beyond what we thought. Let me take you on a tour of our little humble abode because obviously last night it was super dark and it was one o'clock in the morning. So let's do it now. So this is the bedroom, so there's a double bed, excuse the mess, there's that, and then it's more than comfy enough, like this is like, you know, here's the toilet, me, and the shower, and it's so nice because when you shower, you have like a little, you know, one of those cute things, what are they called, I don't know not coming to mind now so I'm not too sure on the plans yet or what's gonna happen actually don't even know where Bronson went but I know that they're sorting out breakfast for us and then yeah I'll keep you guys updated coffee not like we had like three energy drinks last night but So the whole reason why this is all happening and we have run all the way out to the trans car a seven hour drive last night we had a client who purchased the drone um, and he had a bit of an incident out in the trans car it's an annual boys trip and they banked on coming with the drone and fishing with the drone and they had an incident yesterday with the drone so they went dying and they really um, you know pleaded that it would be really great if I could assist them and somehow bring them a little drone so yeah, we decided to pack the cars, make the most of the most of the situation, pack the car, head out to the trans car. We're in the trans car now. We're just busy having a quick coffee brekkie and then we're gonna take the well, take our clients out. We're gonna do some drone fishing and hopefully, hopefully catch a nice big black muscle. Because we didn't come seven hours just to, you know, we're gonna at least Yeah, try we're gonna we're gonna make the most out of it, yo. So we packed the car and we came and the client said, Well please join us, you know, make the most out of the weekend, you don't have to drive here, drop off and go home. We want you to enjoy it, spend the evening, and we're going to go home on Sunday. So we're going to make the most out of it. Yeah, we didn't bring soap though, or double adapter, and there's probably a lot of other things we didn't bring because we got ready so quickly. <laughs> so fine. yeah, it's fine. spur of the moment, and we're going to make the most of it. So it. stay tuned. <laughs>
excellent, 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 lovely. Give me how you feeling? Amazed. I can't believe that place. What's that? That is a dream fishing park. That is a dream come true. So it, it, it wasn't a missed call that I gave you, uh, Roger? Thank you for the phone call. No problem. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to update you on what all is happening currently. So Bronson just caught um, his fish and he's so, so stoked. Like, it's first of all the first time he's caught the fish. And secondly, it's his personal best and he's so chuffed and he's so, so chuffed, which makes me so incredibly happy. I mean, and we are just so blessed to have had this opportunity because of his work. I mean, we came here out for a work emergency and now we are having the absolute time of our lives. So we are honestly so, so blessed. And um, the weather is absolutely like breathtaking. The views, the scenery, it's just so beautiful out here. I mean, if you guys ever find yourself needing a social media cleanse, this is the place to come. There's next to no signal and it's honestly like, so amazing like a detox it just feels so nice peaceful i mean it really is incredible out here we are very blessed and fortunate um to be here um but yeah it's going to be a short trip short-lived but an exciting one so one fish down hopefully many more to come but we'll keep you updated <laughs> Keep it all the way down. All the way down. Woo! So what did you do? I just my first back. What's happening now, right? So we just dropped another fresh crate fish and we the one's picked up. It's a little afternoon storm. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back, yeah you can count on me for that so put your hand in mine, I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay I know you didn't ask for any this, but we reach for the sky Cause we're playing colors now so guys we just got back and I hopped into a shower the wind pricked up pretty bad so we couldn't do too much audio and I don't have an external audio on this vlogging camera um, so yeah it's now like five o'clock yeah like five o'clock we just got back I showered and then he decided after I showered that he's going to swim so yeah and now we are going to they're gonna make us some curry or prawns and crayfish so I'm really looking forward to a proper cultured Muslim dinner like I really actually can't wait but yeah it's been an amazing day uh, you gotta know every day I got your back here you can count on me for that so put your hand in
the slot is doing the most I look great um, it's half past nine at night um, and we are absolutely exhausted um, we just had the most amazing food um, what all did we even have we had fried fish we had different chips we had non I mean rooties what else did we have we had mutton mutton curry mutton kebabs they called it Oh, they call it kebab, kebab. Kebabs. We had the most incredible food and cultural experience. Like it was absolutely amazing. But I'm exhausted. Bronson is too. It's time for bed. Tomorrow morning. Oh, we're waking up at 5 a.m. to go fish one last time before we hit the road. Um, because we are not leaving with just catching one fish. Because that's a no-no. So good night for now, and I will see you in the morning. just a quick update we woke up early and we went out fishing and we're back so why well, you make it sound like it was such a boring morning no it wasn't a boring morning it was unsuccessful the wind was pumping that's why we didn't film like a update while we were on the beach you would have not heard us like the wind was crazy 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 so that is why we decided to regroup so what's that? I'm back at the lodge. I'm just cooling off. We're having a quick swim. And then we're going to the rest of the We're going to take it from there. Um, we're supposed to be leaving now at lunchtime um, to head back to PE. It's 11 o'clock now, so in the next hour we're supposed to be heading out. But um, the people who are accommodating us have asked us to stay for a spit bra, but not a traditional spit bra. They're going to dig a hole um, and put a lamp. A lamb, lamb, a whole under lamb. Under the ground, and they're going to. They're going to wrap it in banana leaves. Oh uh, yeah, banana leaves, and they're going to actually cook, cook them it in, in the, the in the yeah. floor. So they've asked us if we could please join. So I might extend our trip until tonight, and we might leave early hours in the morning to get home by ten o'clock tomorrow. So we might just extend the. We slog a might bit. though, so we'll see how it goes because we have obviously responsibilities back at home and. Um, we don't want to step on anybody's toes, but the people here are absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, they're, really they're feeding us. us. We came here with nothing. They're feeding us, they're looking after us, and they do it with the greatest of ple pleasure. I mean, they really are like. Wow, wow. very nice group of those. Very, very nice. So, yeah, that is what is happening at the moment. But we will fill you in and check in a bit later.
Run of another monster. <laughs> this one feels a lot more muscle to pull up. Let's try to get it out. What's it, man? Special, eh? Guys, two things to take note of these fish. Hey, try and use circle looks. Try and get a nice corner hook up. And try and put these fish back. They, they, they dinosaurs. They really, this is the last place in, uh, in, the, in South Africa where you can actually target them. So if you have the intentions of targeting them, try to be responsible. It's really a, it's really a dying species, so please protect these fish. Very, very nice surprise. So Lauren's going to tell us what's what's happening. Nothing in the world beats fresh baked bread in the Transcar. Look at these boys. No preservatives. Fresh out of the pot. Mm. Secret kind of warm, thick butter. Thick syrup. Can't go wrong. Also one bigger size. That was a beautiful fish. That's beautiful. What are you eating? I'm eating ham. How, Maori. How did we cook it? What's it called? Maori. And what In the ground for four hours. In? Banana leaves. Oh wow. Just ready. All right. So it's come to the end of Sunday. This is this marks the end of our trip in Mpami. Um, we were absolutely blessed. The reason why he's speaking to me now is because we've got a fader. Fader, fader. She's fading. She's off to bed. She didn't do a closing video, so I'm just gonna say good night because tomorrow we're on the road nice and early. Mm. Night. <laughs>